My name is Casey Helseth. I'm uh, originally from Santa Cruz, California. I've uh, been through a lot of shit in my life. And we packed up our bags in the middle of the day. Cracked my first smile in a long time when I watched that motel fade. 101 south down to that 156. Try and build a stable life on the fault line of San Andreas. She held back her tears the best a mother can. And I've tried to keep my head up and be a family man. But with no direction or a place to call a home, well, that 101 can turn into an endless road. And we drove together through the night. And we never know how far we'd have to drive Just looking out to the windows, just watching that world go by I've uh, been through a lot of shit in my life. Just, you know, got dealt a crappy hand from the beginning, you know. Uh, I was 14, living in Idaho with my mom. She caught me smoking weed and uh, she kicked me out of the house and uh, I was on my own from there. I'm not proud of it now, but I didn't really have a choice but to break into cars, break into houses. You know, I had to do what I had to do, you know, to, uh, to survive. I made it back here to Santa Cruz in 95. Well, I was homeless there for actually a long time. And I had a hammock that I would put up right over here in the trees. And uh, I'd, I'd lived here for a while. I saw other people and the ways that they were hustling and making money. One thing led to another. I got involved in uh, drugs, crime, you know, and uh, I'd skate around town. I'd find ways to get money. I'd find ways to get high. I was just a small time criminal. Just whatever got me by, you know what I mean? Like I didn't really, wasn't, didn't want to a hundred dollars. I'd rather have five dollars. You know what I mean? It, it is uh, no secret. I did spend three years in jail. I do have a criminal record. I have a felony strike. But for the most part, I made sure that I always had a skateboard. My life is pretty, uh, pretty basic, pretty mellow. I like to consider myself to be retired right now. Just kind of floating through life, I guess you'd say. Yeah, I get up around five, go fish for a little bit. Fucking fish right out right on the side of that lighthouse deal. But if there's one thing with which you should walk away, is what'll set you apart from far away. Here's the situation as it stands. Look at 
All right, I'm out of here. Back in 2003, 2002, uh, I was going out with this girl. She was living with me at the time. And uh, yeah, she uh, took my clothes to go do laundry. And that was the last time I saw her. And she was found in Watsonville with her friend Nicole. Uh, they were found in a shallow grave in a, at a Renaissance high school. The Capitol Police Department and a few of the sheriffs actually thought that I had something to do with it. Uh, just because me being me and my record and who I was in their eyes, I didn't know how to feel. I was like blown away that they would think something like that, you know what I mean? She was murdered by my best friend's dad. That was a hard one to get over. Uh, I still haven't fully recovered from that. It was heavy, man. It was like I, I started drinking a lot. Kind of drank the pain away for a minute. It helped heal where I was broken inside. And, uh, and then I stopped drinking right after that. I quit drinking. I was, yeah, I wasn't really a fan of alcohol. Shouldn't have happened, you know? People shouldn't have to go through that type of shit, you know? Like, I've, I've lived a life that nobody should ever live. You know what I mean? What I've been through, nobody should have to ever go through that. It didn't really change who I was. It was just like, okay, bring it on. You know what I mean? Like fucking, if you're gonna pile it on me, just pile it all on me right now. I'll, I'll fucking handle it. You know what I mean? I do well, you know, when just shit just gets piled on top of me, you know, because of that. It made me very strong inside. I'm, I'm a better person now. I've healed from uh, many of wounds. I'm sober now. Skateboarding pretty much is the only thing I have. Ever since I pretty much started skateboarding, I've been pushing my limits, you know? But we owned the streets, man. We skated everywhere. We were unstoppable. We are uh, Westcliff, and uh, I'm gonna try to hitch a ride to Derby. How long you been doing this? Uh, long time. I don't have a car, so uh, I usually go by my instincts, you know, make sure it's the right person that probably wouldn't care if I grabbed a hold of the back of the car. Wherever, however far they go down this road, uh, Derby's two miles from here, so. Let's all dance, let's all drink, throw our hands up and we'll sing Together one time, before we go Let's make it more than songs, let's make this more than another show For all the broken hearts, for all the lost souls For all the stress and time, spit out on the road The 40 hour world we can see, grab us by the throat Take a look around We are all the same We are all the same Problems and pain Problems and pain We are all the same So take a look around We are all the same We are all the same Problems and pain Derby Skate Park is uh, very meaningful to me. Something about this place, you know, it just it grabbed a hold of me and just didn't want me to leave. Yeah, it's you know, it's home away from home. I came out here one time and I was surrounded at gunpoint by like 20 cops. They arrested me. Uh, $50,000 arrest warrant for my arrest here, Derby. I got laid here uh, several times, actually. There, 
over there, threw parties here. We lit this place on fire a few times. I ended up getting this tattoo just to make it, you know, official that I'm not a criminal. I'm a skateboarder. And then, uh, yeah, skateboarding definitely saved my life. The road grew weary in the fall of 96. So I left my mom in that old Ford and tried to be a kid. I went out on my own, tried to find a better way But you can fight those good intentions, but you can't make them stay And a man tried to kill me one hot August night But that man wasn't quick enough and he fell on his own knife Got the police who were on my trail with a trial date in mind so I got back in that old Ford and I took myself a drive and I drove. 